In its most basic form, simplifying radical expressions is just combining like terms. If we take a look at example A, the first question we have is 4 roots of 2 plus 5 roots of 2. So the like terms are roots of 2. Here we have 4 roots of 2, and we're adding 5 roots of 2, so we have 9 roots of 2. It's pretty straightforward as long as you think of it as just combining like terms. Here we have 2 roots of 3, and we're subtracting 1 root of 2, we're adding 5 roots of 3, and then adding 10 roots of 2. Well, we have roots of 3 here, and, oops, that was a horrible arrow, here, and here. So we have 2 roots of 3 and 5 roots of 3, that's 7 roots of 3. And we have negative 1 root of 2, and 10 roots of 2, so that gives us 9 roots of 2. So again, just combining like terms. Example B is just a little bit more complicated just because we need to simplify the roots first. So what we're going to do is take 4 cube roots of 128 and subtract 3 cube roots of 250. Now, 3 cube roots of 128 isn't even, so we need to split up 128. We'll write that as 4 cube roots of 2 times 64, because 64 is a cube, minus 3 cube roots of uh, 2 times 125. 125 is a cube. So we'll pull out the 64, that's an 8, and we'll pull out the 125, that's a 5. Almost room for a 5 in there, huh? There we go, just kind of fudge it in there. And then we'll read it right below, 8 times 4 is 32. 32, so that's taken care of. The 64 is gone, so we have just cube root of 2. So 32 cube roots of 2 minus 5 cube roots of 2 is all that's left underneath there. So now we have 32 cube roots of 2 minus 5 cube roots of 2. Now we're combining like terms again, and we'll get 27 cube roots of 2. Sorry, I went off the edge of the screen there. Okay, and then finally for our last example, we have 3 cube roots of x, I'm sorry, square roots of x, minus 4x square roots of 9x. So here we're going to need to split these up just a little bit. We have 3 square roots of, now the square root of x cubed isn't even, but x cubed is the same as x squared times x, and we do know the square root of x squared, that's just x. So we'll cancel that out and put an x outside, leaving 1x underneath, minus 4x square roots of, now again, x doesn't have an even root, but 9 does, so we'll take our 9 out, we'll put the 3 outside, I need to leave myself a little more room when I'm doing that, and leave the x underneath, so we'll have 3x roots of x minus 4 times x times 3, so 12x square roots of x. So now we have 3x square roots of x minus 12x square roots of x. It gives us negative 9x square roots of x. Again, just combining like terms when it comes down to the end.